Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage Base Camp Tutorial Series. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens if you change your mind, you want to stay at a different hotel along the way, how to change that route. We're also going to talk about some other little uh, route change techniques you can use to keep you on the path you want to be on. And ultimately, what we're going to do is split this route into two separate routes, one for each day of our trip. That's just my personal preference, but at least you'll know how to do it. Okay, so let's say as I'm looking at this map, I see that I'm actually spending the night in Arkadelphia, which we did on our last video. But you know, we're just not that far from Hot Springs, which to me is a little more interesting destination. And as I look at this map, it looks like I'm having to dip down south to get to Arkadelphia and then go back up north to get on my route. This to me looks like a straighter shot. Maybe come up here on Highway 70, stop at this Holiday Inn Express in Hot Springs, which I see over here on my list of points of interest. It shows me that. If I click on it, it shows me the details. So I think I'd rather stay in Hot Springs than Arkadelphia. So let's make that change. The first thing I want to do is I want to add this as a waypoint. So I'm going to click on the little waypoint tool. And now you'll see it added it over here on the left hand side. Now I can change the icon if I want to, but I'm really not worried about that right now. Let's open up our route window by double clicking on home to Memphis. And here's our route. And you'll see we have the Holiday Inn Express Arkadelphia. Well, I'm going to change that. I'm going to delete that. And the way you delete a waypoint from a route is simply select it in the list and press the delete key on your keyboard and it will remove that waypoint from that route. Now we want to add the Holiday Inn Express Hot Springs. So I'm going to select it in my list and simply drag it over here in between home. Now you notice I can move it. I could put it the first. I could put it in between. That's where I want it. So I'm going to let that go, and now it has created a new route. Basecamp went out, calculated a brand new route for us. So let's zoom in and see where we're going now. I'm just drawing a marquee around this area. You see down here we have Arkadelphia, which is where we were originally going to stay. Let me move this window out of the way so you can see what's happening here. Okay, so now we're going to Hot Springs Holiday Inn Express. But you may notice, if I move the map over here a little bit, it's done something kind of strange. And honestly, Basecamp will do this from time to time. For some reason, it's taking us off of Highway 70, and it's causing us to go down here on what looks like to be a little county road. It, for some reason, maybe has calculated that as a faster way to get there. I'm not sure. But it, it just, unless you just want to be on that little county road, I think I'd rather stay on Highway 70. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to click on this little arrow, the pointer tool. And I'm just going to simply click on my route. I want to highlight that route. And now I can click on that route and hold the mouse button down and drag it wherever I want. So I'm going to drag it up here to Highway 70. And let's see what happens. First of all, it asks if you want to move this item, and I say yes. And it recalculates the route. I like this much better. Now I can stay on Highway 70 to get to the Holiday Inn Express. Now let's move our map down so we can see a little more of what's going on here. You also notice that when we leave the Holiday Inn Express, we're going way up here and then back down. I'm not sure why we're not just taking Highway 270 over here to connect. So I'll make that change later. But I want you to notice that when we drug that route up to this Highway 70, it added a new waypoint to our route list, as I guess they call that Airport Road. So if we double click on this, we can see that it has added this route to Airport Road which is fine. We can change the name of that if we want to, but it's really not necessary. So now we have our new route from home to the Sheraton Memphis downtown all in one day, and we're stopping at the Holiday Inn Express Hot Springs and going to spend the night. 
Now while I'm here, I'm going to double click on this. and I'm going to go ahead and change this icon to a hotel just because I like to look at it. I think it's nicer. Okay, so now what we want to do is I want to split this route up into two separate days. It's just easier for me to keep up that way. So I'm going to call this day one. And I'm going to put a dash in there. Home to Memphis. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to go over here to my list of items on my list. And I'm going to right mouse click on Home to Memphis. And I'm going to duplicate this. And it'll say duplicate waypoints. I don't want to duplicate the waypoints. I only want to duplicate the route. I don't need duplicate waypoints. So I'm going to say no to this. Okay, now I'm going to open up my copy here, which has now been named Home to Memphis 1. And I'm going to double click on this. And here's my route window with all my items in it. And what I'm going to do, this is eventually going to become day two. So let's just rename it Day 2 Hot Springs to Memphis. And I'll rename my other one Home to Hot Springs here in just a second. Now, since we're Hot Springs to Memphis, I can get rid of these two waypoints. And now I'll just delete them by hitting the Delete key. And now my second route becomes the Holiday Inn Express Hot Springs to the Sheraton downtown. And I can recalculate that route. So now, in effect, what we have is we have two separate routes. Let me rename this one real quick just so it makes more sense. Home to Hot Springs. There we go. Now, if you'll notice when I highlight this route, they both kind of look the same, except they get a little bit bolder and darker. You'll notice if I click on this one. Let me open this one up. I have to change this route now because I'm only going to Hot Springs. So I need to, on my day one route, I need to delete the Sheraton Memphis downtown because we're not going there on day one. And let me recalculate the route. Okay, that's what I needed to do. Now you can see this is more in bold. When I click on Hot Springs to Memphis, it's in bold. But it might be easier to see if I actually had two different colors of routes. So let's double click Hot Springs to Memphis. And let's go up here to the Info tab. And we can change the color of this route. And I'm going to change it to blue. And I can close this window now. Now I have two distinct colors, one for each route. So when I use my GPS, when I leave home, I'm going to select Home to Hot Springs. When I wake up in Hot Springs the next morning, I'm going to select the next route, Hot Springs to Memphis. That's just the way that I like to travel. But you can do it however you like. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And please take a second to click the little subscribe button down below. We're going to cover more in future episodes of Basecamp Tutorials. Thanks for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.